Waffle cones with chocolate in them are really good. <laughs> I'm sure they are. I, cr I crushed them all. I gave you a lot this morning. Did you? The full quarter. No, 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 no. You had a lot. Chabet. Chabet. That's your new name, Chabet. Poopster, Chabat, Kaya, Kai Kai. Oh. Kai Kai. Uh-uh. Go get your toy. No. Go get your toy. Do you have water? Like, which shake do you recommend? She's like, oh, I might surprise me. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. Are, are you surprised? <laughs> yes. This is a masterpiece. <laughs> That's it. One little. <laughs>
Coming. Dad looks quite comfortable, doesn't he? Mm -hmm. I don't even. Okay. So, I don't even know the last thing I showed you guys. I want to say the coffee shop in New Paltz. So New Paltz is so cute. It's a little like college town I would say but um, if you want like a little day trip or if you live up there there's an amazing coffee shop. It's in the same shopping center as the antique warehouse and it's also a like store that sells like greenery. It's not a nursery but they sell like eucalyptus and like dried florals and really cute stuff. So we had coffee. I had tea but we had coffee outside. They have the cutest little outdoor area. And I think that's the last thing I showed you guys. But anyway, my house is in shambles. I have been so tired. And I don't know if it's because like my magnesium levels are low or if it's because like my sleeping schedule is actually shit. Because it is. So. Today, we are gonna get my life together. <laughs> um, I have a dentist appointment that I have to go to in a couple hours, but I want to change the bedding in my room and like clean up this room a little bit. And I also just set a timer on my phone for 8.45 tonight because I'm gonna try to get back on a better sleeping schedule. Um, since I wake up at like 5, 5.30 for work every day, I want to try to be like in bed at 9 and then hopefully asleep by like 9.30. So, I have a daily alarm set right now, Monday through Friday for 8.45 p.m. I'm going to leave it and I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to change it. I'm going to abide by that. And then I'm going to see if I'm still really tired. Because this is ridiculous. Like, I don't understand why I just can't get it together. Anyway, we're going to change the sheets. Um, I do need to, like, vacuum and stuff for my floor, which I don't think I'm going to show you guys. But I need to change my sheets, and I need to do some laundry. And I'll show you guys some stuff I... I got recently because I got some stuff to like organize the house and some travel like necessities too since I'm gonna be away for a little bit in September October and November actually I have trips every month over the next three months so I'll show you what I got but right now like I have to interrupt Kai's nap and I have to change these sheets oh I'll show you once they're on the bed, but I bought the Brooke linen sheets. They were on sale. I bought the Lux core collection and I'm like so, so excited. So excited because I see them on like every influencer's channel, Instagram, TikTok, whatever, and they just look so nice. They're just, they're kind of pricey. But anyway, so now I have like an actual nice set of sheets because all of my sheets are from Amazon. They're like 20 bucks and they're fine. They're like amazing. Honestly, if you want inexpensive sheets, like Amazon's bomb. Um, but 
I'm 32 and I just feel like I should have like one nice sheet set. So, the, so that's what we're doing, okay? We are gonna, for the hundredth time on this channel, we are <laughs> gonna strip my, my bed. Hi, well, welcome to Catherine's vlog. Let's go, let's do it. Please ignore my hair and like the state of my appearance. I, I know I look like shit. It is what it is. I told you guys I'm tired. Oh, I did do something adult like this morning. I made a lemon chia seed ice water. And I'm going to drink this. And then when it is done, I'm going to make another one. Probably not with chia seeds. Like, that's a little aggressive. But another lemon water. Drink your water. Make sure you hydrate. Okay, cutie, you. Up. highly recommend we have them in white just because I like everything being clean but highly highly recommend we wash these once a week sometimes twice a week depending and they just held up so well and they're our favorite ones so I'm gonna go put these away and these are the Brooklyn and sheets I just got so we're gonna put these on and see what they look like. I really hope that they're like good. There. it a few years ago when like my house is a little more like bohemian um but i still love it i love that it's like neutral and it's very cozy and also washes really well like there's one pull in it and i've had this for five years my winter comforter washed at the dry cleaner and to be perfectly honest I'm not really ready to swap it out but we're going to so then I got the duvet cover I told you I got like the whole sheet set but the duvet cover I got. All right, the comforter cover is gonna wait because I'm I'm gonna wash it. Like I'm kind of grossed out. 
try it. So, I'm just gonna fold this down for now. And I'm trying to, you guys, I'm trying to learn how to make my bed and it's really hard. This is what the bed looks like right now. See what I'm saying? Like with this sheet, I just don't understand why it's like, I don't know, whatever. Anyway, Brooklyn and sheets and West Elm blanket. And then the comforter cover is over here. I still need to wash this before I put it on the comforter. So that's going to go in the laundry room. Also... I did a little bit of rearranging. Um, don't mind. This is where you guys just were set up. But this goes here. And then this guy goes here. Um, I do need to wipe down my like window sills and stuff. I bought this Kellum rug at an outdoor flea market called Elephant Trunk. I put it in a vlog a while ago. The actual flea market when we went with my aunt and I just think it looks cute here obviously there's like a lot of shit from me making the bed but I just put it like right when you walk in and then we have an um, extra table and chairs that we also bought from an antique warehouse in Stratton Connecticut I think it's called but this is one of the chairs from the table it's usually in our garage but I wanted something to just kind of fill up the space and I wanted to bring my books in here because they've been in the office for so long, like probably two years. And I love going through home books when I'm just like sitting in bed or just needing some inspiration to rearrange my house. So right now this chair is just in between our two closets. It just has books on it. I'm thinking about maybe like putting a candle on top for um, when I'm in here. I can just like have something like really nice smelling filling up the room. But obviously I do have on my side I have the um, Vitruvi. So usually I put that on because it's obviously just like a lot safer. There's no flame or anything like that. Rob's PJs are here. But he got this little box. And it kind of looks like the little Gucci combs. Isn't it cute? I put one of the books underneath just to give it some, like, dimension. But this just has, like, all of his stuff in it. And I liked that better since it's covered. The other one he had was just a bowl and it wasn't covered and it just looks really messy. So his side, I just put that in there. Throw those there for now. And I need to, like fluff up the pillows and wash that blanket that we put on this chair because Kaya likes to sit up here and I obviously didn't want the chair to get ruined but the other thing I kind of rearranged was just this table um I put this book here I left it open Rob got this really pretty like case when we were at elephant trunk when I got that rug so I put this here. I felt like the green in this kind of picked up on the green in my vase over here. Kind of ties it together. This guy we got at Monger's Market, which is also in Connecticut. It's a flea market that is open every Sunday. And that used to be over here. And so I just kind of put our dough bowl here. It's from... Uh, store in Franklin, Tennessee. I forget the name of it, but we've had it forever and I really needed a place that we could just throw our keys and like obviously like our box cutters in here and stuff. So um, I wanted that on the second shelf so that I could keep this here. So I just kind of rearranged that and yeah, Rob got me some flowers, which was so nice of him. So these are on the table right now, but normally this is the only thing that I've been having on the table. And that obviously used to be up here. So I put, these flowers are really old. They're probably, they're probably like two weeks old. Honestly, they've lasted a really long time, but 
I put that there and I ordered this on Amazon. I actually ordered it for my mom for her kitchen. She has gray in her kitchen, but I don't know. I really liked it when it came in. So it's just holding all of our like cooking utensils right now. And I wanted to just open up this whole space. So I moved our KitchenAid here. I bought this brand new book in Cold Spring that I highly recommend. It's called Nut Butter. And we actually made these oatmeal um, banana breakfast cookies and they came out so good. And I've been having one like every morning. And that bowl is just there holding some bananas, but that is just a lot cleaner, a lot simpler. That's all that's over there. And this room is a mess and Kaya's out cold, but I purchased this cute little thing when I was in New Jersey. No, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. It was literally $12. The woman was there when the store was closing and she gave it to me for $12 and I just thought it was so cute. And I have a painting Rob got me for Christmas, a couple little things up there, some books, little box, some artwork. And then this is really what I changed around. So I took the basket out and we have this like primitive vessel from Knock on Wood. I'll link the store down below. They have such great stuff. And then this tray is actually from my mom's house. It's super old. She gave it to me a while ago and sadly it did crack, but that's okay. Gives it a little character. Um, so again, I told you I guys I wanted to pull my books back out from next door. So these are like three of my favorite books. And then I obviously just have some sage up there. I found this while I was cleaning, so I need to kind of see what's on there. But this is another thing that Rob got at the um, elephant trunk flea market. And it just has a charger in here for now because our phones are always dying and when we're in here it's just like a really easy time to charge them. My architectural digest book and then I also just opened a book over here. This is actually Kelly Wurstler's book and it's amazing. It has such amazing inspiration so I highly recommend if you're looking for like home decor books this is what it looks like and I love it but yeah, so just some small changes. I need to clean this room up. It's like a hot mess, but just rearranged a couple of things and I'm going to basically grab this and throw it in the washing machine and just finish cleaning up the rest of the house. I just need to basically like vacuum and Swiffer and all that good stuff. And I need to bring this laundry next door. So, yeah, again, we're just... Getting my house together, my house is in shambles. I have laundry that I did this morning over here. I have some things to show you guys that I ordered. And yeah, so we're gonna get to that. But right now I need to clean this mess up. All right, I finished at the dentist. I got a little, little package, just like toothpaste toothbrush, floss, all that good stuff. But I figured I would show you guys um, what I got from Nordstrom's and then what I got on Amazon. So I'll show you Amazon first because it's only one thing. And they're all different colors, which personally I like and they're like rubber. So we needed new ones because we have the ones that have the wood tops, which are very aesthetically pleasing, but um, they're kind of hard to wash. Like the tops are hard to wash since they're obviously wood. So I just got these and they're by L-O-E-L-L-O -E -L -L -O, and I'll link them down below, but um, yeah. They're dishwasher and microwave safe. Yeah. So anyway. Um, 
really excited about these. I love the size of them. They're not like super big, they're not super small. So I feel like they'll be good for just leftovers or like when I make like muffins or cookies or something like that. Maybe not muffins, probably like cookies though. I find that muffins I always need like a larger um, container for. Anyway, so if you are someone who has your own apartment or your own home, and you get excited about things like that, like I do, <laughs> that's what I got. And then I'll show you the three things I got from um, Nordstrom, so. Um, I actually started using these two products, but I got the Indy Lee Radiance Renewal Peels. And I got these because I usually wash my face really, really well at night before I go to bed. And so in the morning, I don't like to like do a whole skincare routine, but I wanted something in case like, I just wanna like wipe down my face or, you know, if after I wash my face, if I have like a little bit more makeup and I don't like obviously wanna use one of my white towels and like wash my face off just yet, I can see if there's any makeup left over with those. And then I got this squalene facial oil. It says it's ideal for all skin types. And it looks like this. Anyway, so I'm trying this out. Um, I've used it only like for two days now and I haven't had any like breakouts from this product. Um, it is also, it says it's cruelty free free there's like a little bunny on it so i don't know i thought it wasn't and then i saw the bunny and i got it so i'm not sure so if, I, I should probably do a little bit of research i don't know if that means it just isn't tested on animals or if it's vegan or both I, i'm not sure to be honest with you but um i th thought this was made with an animal product so i have to do a little bit of research on that but yeah i bought this I'm trying it out. Um, we'll see. I'm trying to only use it like once a day. And the last thing I got is this base weekend bag. And it looks like this. And it has a little pocket here. This unzips. I've seen a lot of people use this to put like their shoes in. And then like the inside they'll put like their toiletries and their clothes. It also has the pocket here and I guess you can open this in case you want to put it over like your suitcase handle but I have a bunch of trips coming up so I got this as like a nice bag to carry for if I go away for just like the weekend or a couple of days which is what a lot of my trips are gonna be coming up in the next couple months so I'm excited to try this out I'll give you guys like a full um, review <laughs> that's the word review of like what i think but it wasn't that expensive it was like hundred dollars so um pretty pretty decent price for like a nice quality bag so anyway figured i'd show you guys that stuff real quick i did finish cleaning up the house but i still have so much laundry to do it's literally ridiculous how much laundry i have All right, it's 6.30. I went to the jeweler to pick up my watch because I needed to get the face replaced on it because the crystal broke. So they replaced it, it looks good. And now we are home. Rob is outside. And, <laughs> and Kai is here. You wanna go for a walk? <laughs> All right, you wanna go for a little walk? All right, let's do it. All right, so I think we're gonna go, I was gonna go for a longer walk, but the day kind of got away from me. It's like late now. It's gonna probably get dark in about an hour. So, I'm just gonna wear my Yeezys. I have on these like tie-dye sweatpants I got during COVID and just a white t-shirt. Um, so we're just kind of bumming it, but we're gonna go for a quick walk. Probably around the block. Let's 
see, find out. Let's find out what he wants to do. Kai doesn't want to walk. Neither does this one. Who's Forc this, who's this forcing one? Forcing everyone. Who's this one? You. What are you talking about? Adulting is waiting for your duvet cover to be finished. <laughs> Drying at seven o'clock at night. But we're just watching some TV. These are just waiting for the laundry to finish up so that I can um, get everything into the dryer and go to bed. I'm currently reading the second um, book of the Siren series and I want to read like a chapter or two tonight like once I get into bed but I'm planning on being in bed between 9 and 9 30 um, so that hopefully I'm not that tired tomorrow um because like I said I've just been like I don't know I've been really just not motivated and very tired lately and I I don't know if it's like my sleeping schedule or if it's like my magnesium levels or what's going on but I'm gonna try to be in bed early because I have to wake up at 5 15 tomorrow to go to work and I'm gonna have to do like an evening workout tomorrow because I haven't worked out in like almost a week I haven't worked out since Thursday we went hiking um, which I showed you guys and yeah and today is Tuesday right now it's Tuesday night so you guys have spent almost a full week with us <laughs> normally I don't film like during my weekdays like on the days that I work but yeah this week we've been taking you guys along for the ride and I think I'm honestly just gonna end the vlog off here and basically start a vlog tomorrow so that I can get this up for you guys because it's been a week since I've posted anything on YouTube and I also like need to edit this which I know is going to take me a little bit so I think I'm going to end the vlog off here I'm just going to watch some YouTube get my sheets on my bed and I'll see you guys in the next one thanks for watching